Chinatown emerged as a place for laundrymen to come on Sundays. Because of the blue laws, laundries could not be open on Sundays and you needed a day of rest. Laundries were scattered all over the metropolitan area. By 1900, there were 500 in the city of Boston. And they were everywhere except in the rich districts. Because the rich districts, people had their own maids and laundry people. But in the industrial areas, the Chinese laundry filled the niche for ironing shirts, sheets, and also in the areas where there were a lot of bachelors. And that was all over New England. Boston alone, there were laundries in Maine, there were laundries in New Hampshire, in industrial towns. So on Sundays, people came to Chinatown to get their hair cut, get clothes, get food, send money home, meet with friends. So it became the center for the Chinese population in general. So Chinatown was unlike other urban neighborhoods where people lived and worked. What existed there were the suppliers, the grocery stores, family associations, the village associations, also gambling and opium. That's a tough life out there, living by yourself. So those were the things that sort of made Chinatown. The restaurants in Chinatown emerged first in Chinatown around 1890 or so, maybe a little earlier. Probably aimed at rich Chinese. The laundrymen could not afford restaurants. They were tourist attractions. The newspaper accounts of slumming excursions to visit the Chinese restaurants. There's a great account of Isabella Stewart Gardner, famous in Boston, on her visit to a Chinese restaurant. She came with her Japanese curator and the menu is published in a newspaper. So it was fashionable to come to the Chinese restaurants. And then they began to move to the suburbs. You needed much more capital. You needed to have English. So that generation began to open restaurants, first sort of outside of Chinatown and then in the industrial areas. Part of the first wave of suburban expansion in Boston the restaurants followed in a way. It was like two curves that sort of intersected, right? As the laundries sort of peaked and flattened out, the restaurants were emerging. 